We're in. The water bowser is in the open, just waiting to be stolen. The mirror will sneak behind the wheel, while I must open the gate. There are so many innocent slaves in the fort, so we should try to avoid excessive bloodshed. a clean operation. You should have seen their marks when I started the car. <sighs> well, at least we didn't hurt the slaves. Left. 
my friend. Totally radical job you did there. All this rejoicing over mere water. Must say, I love this taste of rust in the morning already, though. <laughs> Tastes like victory. Yeah. <laughs> uh, poor bastards. <laughs> we cracked up completely. <laughs> We showed them all right, didn't we? Yes, we did. The thing is, their army is in a massive raid now. And this is just... Mm, the Baron sending his regards. How many of them are there? 700, I think. Whoa. Yeah, we locked out here. And we'd better not overstay our welcome. We won't get far burning twigs. Five clicks at best. The dogs have fuel. Lots of it. A full tanker carriage on the rails. If we open gate quietly, we can steal it. They shouldn't have many guards now. Can you guide our men? I can. Let's get to business then. Yermak, Crest, you prepare the Aurora. Finish filling the boiler with water and drain the car's tanks. Artyom, Damir, you get the most important part. Stealing that tank. Yes, sir. Good luck, gentlemen. Anna, idiot, Tokarev, we're breaking camp, people. Don't forget to check your gear and prepare before you set out. Maybe we could still negotiate with them. I tried that already. No dice. He takes women as payment. Artyom, we're fixing to leave already, but there's one thing that keeps nagging on me. Remember that dismantled ship I told you about? I can't stop thinking about the slaves they keep there. Do you think we could still free them? If not us, then who? <sighs> So tired of this dust. Can't wait to get out of here. Don't take dumb risks there. I need a live husband, not a dead hero. Artyom, you and I will soon be leaving, so you can take some rest, do a checkup on your gear, and catch up with us. We'll rendezvous at their base. The car's near the Aurora. We're breaking camp. Yes, sir. Ladies and gentlemen, the train has a bright future. We'll be leaving shortly. We're leaving soon. Hi, Artyom. Well, it's all gonna be okay now. We can't lose now that we have water. You guys did great.
Artyom, watch out while on the mission. We'll be praying for you. Ah, uh, come on. It's Artyom we're talking about. Just let him do him walk. You better keep both your eyes open out here. Careful, you will be there in the nick of time, of course, but don't go taking the net. Artyom, we took a look around. The main gate is guarded by a skeleton crew. You cannot go through gate. Go through the prison cellar where the Munai Bailer keep the slaves. Uh, <laughs> yes. In any case, the plan is this. Gul and I will try to take their guards down quietly and get in through the gate. If quiet does not work out, we will at least distract them, while you get in through the underground. Let's go. We'll walk with you. Don't lag behind. I have a favor to ask. If possible, don't kill the slaves. They're not... They just obey. The Manai by Lair. Obey the Baron. They're afraid, that's all. Gul is right about the locals. Here. This place. They're just kids, and all have been under brainwashing for ages. So we probably should take pity on them. So, a great? Well, let's do this. All right, I'll raise it and you get through. Great. See you up 
Who is that? I'm Nichek, I think. Who is there? It is not. Sad. Very sad. So good to be in army. I stand and rest. All those workers. Help me, someone. 
Save me, save me, holy flame. Oh, such fear, such fear. From afar? Oh, find me after you talk to the Baron. I won't disappoint. You're the one to see the boss? One. 
I'm just doing my best to introduce a little order into it. Without which there is no hope for something better in the future. But with no hope, you can't live. But let us cut to the chase. You definitely did not come here to enjoy the scenery. Ergo, you have a goal. And that goal is probably far from here. I respect people with their purpose in life. So, I am ready to provide you with fuel for your journey. I'm not asking for much in return. Surrender Gyul to me. Bring her to me, and we all win. I have Gyul. You will have your fuel. Everyone gets to live long and prosper. Now what? Carnage, you went all out here, didn't you? Whoa! 
So impressive. So this is the plan Gyul was talking about. What the hell is going on there? Get out of there! I'll send people to cover your retreat! The door's giving. Let's give it a shot, Artyom! Come on, Artyom! My people hope. I'll never forget it. But this war has only started for me, and I must see it to the end. The winning end. Artyom, your dream led us here, but it won't help my people. This war is mine now, too. Go, Artyom. Follow your dream. I was so worried. Fanatics on the banks of Volga. Cannibals in the mountain bunker. Slavers on the shores of the dried out sea. How many monsters has the war given rise to? Or perhaps, were they always there? And the war simply gave them a chance to show themselves, and now we're stuck with them forever. Will Damir, who stayed in the desert to help Kyu lead their people to freedom, beat another monster? The inertia of thought that had been keeping the subjugated locals in willing and ready servitude to tyrants? Frankly, I have doubts. That monster might prove stronger than all the others. Regardless, we can't afford to lose hope. We're getting ever closer to our dream. Finding a place where we could live, free from radiation and mutants. The maps we recovered in the desert have provided us with several promising options. And now the crew members are excitedly waiting for the Colonel's decision on where the Aurora should go next. Currently, though, the train is calmly rolling eastward. The crew rests and Stepan proposed to Katya. It was a proposal she couldn't refuse. Stepan and Katya, you and me, 
and thinking how lucky we are. It was so different with my parents. It was bad. Did I ever tell you why my mom died? Of course I didn't. It was because of Dad. He used to be even harsher back then. He used to come home from the barracks and reach for the bottle while taking off his boots. They'd quarrel, and then he'd stop appearing for a time. And while he was away, she'd start drinking too, and crying when she was sober. She'd feel better, would get kinda dreamy when drunk. You know how she used to call me, just A. She'd hug me and say, one day, A, you and I are going to go to Vladivostok, the city I was born in. And from there, to a village on the ocean shore. I was five back then and didn't really get much. But I could imagine that village and the ocean so vividly, because I believed her. And then she killed herself, drank some kind of poison. Father quit drinking after Mom's death. Didn't ever pay much attention to me, but with her gone, he'd never leave me alone. Took me along everywhere. We only talked about her a couple of times, though. I used to have this doll, Jana. I played make-believe that she was my daughter, and we went to the ocean together. Then my father hid it, told me it got lost. He probably didn't want me to agonize over Mom's dream. Then I imagine she grew up and went to Vladivostok. And now I'm going. Not to Vladivostok, but with you. The dream came true. By the way, I was always intrigued by what Dad dreams about. He should have some dreams, but what are they? Higher rank? He could choose any. Saving people? What would the saved do next? Sit underground? I never understood him. What does he hope for in life? What makes him happy? Nothing, perhaps. He never really had any time to think about tomorrow. Down in the metro, those thoughts don't come casually. Here on the surface, though. I, for one, have something I want to do. I want to run through the sand barefoot. Build a sand castle for the kids. I'm imagining two. A boy and a girl. The boy would be a copy of you. We'd go swimming with mountains behind us. Wooden houses on the shore. The sun would wake us up every day, rising from the ocean. That harbor is our destination. Worth going there even if we have half the world to cross. Everyone should have a destination. A point on the map where they aspire to go and where one could finally be happy. All our guys have their own. Damir, another. We broke out of the metro and are now starting to scatter. Not at once, of course. At first, we're all still running together, searching. But eventually, each of us will find a point like this and stay there. I don't know where my dad's destination is. Don't know where yours is either. But I know I love you a whole lot. I'll rest some more and join you later.
Aren't we supposed to talk at the meet anyway? So we are. But this meet, it reeks of a fucking rat, man. A rat? You don't say. It's only that the Baron is dead and we have to decide who takes his place as the prophet of the Holy Flame. So relax! There's no chance any of the boys would try any shit. And I definitely don't think you might have had a hand in it. <laughs> no way, man. No way. Had your fucking fun? Now listen, I am talking to you as a respectable man would do, even though we've had our share of differences. Shut up, man. No, you shut the fuck up and let me finish. It's not like you're still wearing white robes, walking over this fucking sea of shit we're in either. Not like you accounted for those two takers of kerosene yet, so you could have hired those hitmen on the train as well as anyone. But that's something we should discuss in person. I have a different matter in mind now. Doesn't that new guy, Damir, seem suspicious? True. Where did he come from? How come he became a made man right before those hitmen capped the Baron? And what is he doing arranging a meet anyway? This smacks of a setup. Ah, so we do see eye to eye on this one. Do you know anyone who would vouch for that Damir guy? Cause fuck me sideways if I do. I've no idea, man. This Damir fucker. The first time I heard of him was yesterday. Good. That's why I suggest we set the old shit aside and work together on this one. See who's behind this upstart, see through his game, and make sure he gets snake eyes when he finally rolls. And then we decide on our matter. Like respectable men? Yes, then we do. Bet my tooth. Count me in then. Good. See you at the meet then. See you at the meet. Ah, good thinking. 
I don't want to fight you anymore. <laughs> I don't want to fight you too. That knee still hurts. So, what you say, old friend? Amit, we need to talk in person now. A good deer likes privacy and... You know, this frequency seems secure. Yes, I understand. Let us meet tomorrow. At the old restaurant, what you say? Huh? Deal. See you there, Abbas. Over and out. Rachmet, my friend. Over and out. Don't you worry. You'll get another chance. A moment of your attention, please. Half a year on the road, and 4,000 clicks behind us. We have been through a lot. Damir. All right, people. I do understand I can't keep it a secret much longer. After a careful study of the satellite maps we've obtained, <laughs> and much deliberation, we found a place we could call our new home. <coughs> it is a river valley. There's forest and a hydroelectric power plant. Yeah. This place is quite far from densely populated areas, which, as our journey has proved, is important. We're about two days away from it now. So, congratulations! Yeah! Yeah! yeah. 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 Yeah! Yet, this is not our last order of business for today. Step on. Katya. Oh, rings. Step on, Katya. Repeat after me. I take you to be my spouse. I take you to, you to be, be my, my spouse. spouse. And vow to hold you from this day forward. And vow to for hold better, you from this day forward. For, 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 for better or for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. health. To love and to cherish to and until to cherish death do us part. To us part. As the captain of this ship, I hereby pronounce you husband and wife. Live long and be happy. Oh, and go Gorka! 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 Oh. I'm 
Anna, what's happening? Be careful, people! Anna, please hold on. What's happening? What is it? What's that car? Got gotcha. you. Do something, please. Don't crown her. Give her air. Damn. What are you talking about, baby? In the Yamantau, when they dragged me away, that ghoul doctor said my lungs were falling apart. The gas I breathed in that ammo dump said I How don't can you love. believe that monster? We've just been through a desert and all that sand, so that might be the reason. Got you, Arthur. A few words. Go. I'm fine now. I don't know about this. The old man is furious. So, son, care to tell me what Arno, do we do please. now? Let us not panic and think constructively. So, Katya, what do you think? I think that trusting some degenerate's diagnosis wouldn't be wise. A move from humid metro into the desert with its dry heat and sandstorms is a stress for us. Yes, I do think she'd be hit really bad right off the start. Had it my been thoughts gas. exactly. Thus, first I'll check her condition to the best of my knowledge. Also, we're approaching the valley with its forest air. That alone could heal her. I'm sorry to intervene, but did something happen? Anna coughed up some blood. Oh, God. Do you really think it's the same? Sounds more like TB to me. That's for sure. TB we can handle. We've got enough antibiotics, and air does help with that. What if... What if that deep cheddar was right, Katya? What do we do? Is there a medicine? There was an air defense battery station in our village. Right on the brink of war, they received a new drug. It saved a lot of people after gas exposure and general poisoning. I'll check my mom's records and find its name. I think it was produced in Novosibirsk. Right, Novosibirsk. Yermak, your opinion. For them is sick, I'd go to the edges of the earth. As for Novosibirsk, it's about 2,000 clicks. Then it's decided. We head for the valley. If it is suitable, we settle there. If our state worsens, I'll take a group of volunteers to find that drug. So, Katya, please, find that name for us. I'll find it. Don't worry. Surprises in that valley. You are our most seasoned scout. So take the rail car, one volunteer. Go check everything out before we arrive. Let's go back for now. Tell her other people to come down. I will go. Now I understand why she was so down with me. Just imagine thinking about all that for so long. Yeah, it's Here are your orders, everyone. First of all, stay calm. The plan stands. We head for that valley with its fresh air and clean water. Then we go about settling there. If Anna's health... Dad, please. I repeat, Anna, in case you start getting worse, there's a drug Katya told us about, so we can go and find it for you, if it is needed. Mm, that sounds like a great plan. I'd also like to say this. Guys, please don't worry. I've been feeling pretty bad as it is for ruining the party. 
Oh, come on. You didn't ruin anything. I just brought myself down to rock bottom over that bastard from Yamantau. Though it must just be the sand and desert climate. Of course that must be it. We were discussing exactly that just now. All right. A toast. To you guys. Just be happy together. To you. To you. Oh, Great yeah. toast. Surprises like the ones we had on the Volga or in Yamantau. So we're sending a scouting party ahead on a rail car. Artyom needs a volunteer to support him. Me! Pick me! I'll check the hell out of that valley, please! <laughs> Something makes me think that Alyosha is mainly going to check if there are any Amazons or women in general there. <laughs> 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 so we're all set. Frankly, I envy you, Stefan. You got a full family, a wife and child at once. And you don't have to worry about diapers or belly aches. Envy is a bad thing. We're not the ones to avoid diapers, Colonel. In fact, we're planning to visit Nastya with a little brother, if she doesn't object. I'd rather get a sister. We could play with dolls together. I could care for her. You could play Sparta in special operations with the brother. Ah, oh, cut it out, Stefan. God knows we've had enough of operations. I don't know about you, but I'm tired. I'd like to retire. Time to have some life. You can't retire yet. You're too young. <laughs> I am old, Nastya. You're not. 
was a bad thing, Nadia. But what am I to do? Your mom has you, but my Anna doesn't have a spark curl like you. Dad! Don't dad me! A 20 year old won't even think about children. But I would sure like to see grandchildren at my age. Yeah, you teach them CQC. Dual wielding pistols. <laughs> I could come visit you. <laughs> of course, you're welcome, Nastya. The thing is, Grandpa Miller won't give up until he has grandchildren of his own. Hear that, Artyom? I don't even know what else to say. She's beautiful, sporting. Yeah, I'm Olympic level with a rifle. I get not having kids in metal. Darkness, TB, rats, mutations. But what about here? <laughs> All right, Dad. We'll get to work on solving your problem tonight. And that note, how about a drink? To repopulation of Earth. Two kids. Yes, two children. Two children. Two children. To the new colony! Hey. This is good. <laughs> to the new colony! And to having yes. more women joining! Ambrosia. <laughs> Alyosha, I never doubted you. Yes, Alyosha. I don't think you should be worried about that. If we are successful, there will be people joining us. Honest, good people. I'm sure they survive too. Well, if any bad people decide to show up, they'll be sorry they did. <laughs> oh, definitely. When we're done with the bad apples here, we might think of something to do about Moscow. That's true. To love! To love! Just yes, like water. Come on, impress us. This heat is just unbearable, I must say.
song. Stefan, play some more. Stefan, could you give us that one? By Boris. My pleasure. Полковник Васин приехал на фронт со своей молодой женой. Полковник Васин созвал свой полк и сказал им, пойдем домой. Мы ведем войну уже 70 лет, нас учили, что жизнь — это бой. Но по новым данным разведки мы воевали сами с собой. Я видел генералов, они пьют и едят нашу смерть. И где ты сходишь с ума от того, что им нечего больше хотеть? А земля лежит в ставчике. Ah, hello, Artyom. Hello, my friend. Well, братуха, Anna sure gave us all this care. Oh, but don't you worry. It does look like tuberculosis, but Katya is a real medic. She, well, she'll put her back on the feet in no time at all. Well, besides, there's finally something nice ahead. A river, a forest, even a hydroelectric dam. Oh, that sounds interesting, but I haven't fixed one yet. I can't say I've ever been religious, but right now I'm begging all gods, please, watch over Anna and make the valley cure her of her affliction. In the meantime, Alyosha and I are on a recon mission. We have no idea of what is waiting for us there. Though Alyosha seems convinced that there are going to be crowds of women eagerly anticipating his arrival. If that turns out to be the case, then I have the best companion possible for this mission. Yes, I must say, I'm rather partial to this valley. Take care for one. Makes your head swim. Never smelled air like this in my life. I bet if we spend a week there, it won't just cure Anna. It'll make Colonel grow his feet back. Damn, this is one bumpy ride. The rails are all bent. The whole track seems to be fixing to slide down. I sure hope it can hold our weight. Let's hail the Aurora and tell them to take the other road. Come in, Aurora. This is forward recon. Do you read? Over. Sir, this track won't hold the Aurora. Take the main one. Over. I see. This one requires some repairs. This one holds us back. This is my gun. The plan stands. We're on the water down. How is the general situation there? Over. The general situation is completely awesome, Colonel. Sir, Anna is sure to love it here. Over. like this. We get to that dam, check it out quickly, and call them over. Just take a look at all this beauty, huh? 
Don't you want them to see it sooner? Look at that church for me. Scott, your friend, but I can see you're torn on bandits. I'll help you out if you don't do anything stupid. Gotta run now. Just stay out of sight and you'll be fine. Catch you later. <laughs> 